One of the so-called advanced technologies found within the OS X Mavericks is a new feature called Safari Power Saver. This will actually pause plugins found on web pages in the margin. So if it's not front and center, if the content isn't front and center like this, at the top of the screen where an ad banner would normally be, it will pause that plugin. For instance, this is the Flash plugin. It has paused it. And you see this is paused as well on the right side, not the main content. So what this does is it pauses plugins, provide you with a static preview, and it won't run until you click play it, just as I did there, and it's starting to play now. If you go to the preferences found in Safari and click on the advanced tab, you'll see where it has internet plugins, stop plugins to save power. That is actually the power saver, Safari power saver mode. Uh, and you can check or, or uncheck that if you wish to use or not use this feature. And then you have the sites that the plugins can start automatically on after you've allowed them to start automatically. You can either clear these out um, or keep them in there if you wanna do that. And basically this makes it so that you know, advertisements and things over in the margins don't just start playing. You start hearing noises and sounds come up um, out of the blue and you're not sure what's playing it. Well, this will stop that. This will nip that in the bud. And the whole purpose is to hopefully save battery life as well. So now I'm going to go in and delete IDB and everything else from Safari Power Savers uh, preferences here. And I'll reload the page and you'll notice that it will now pause any plugins because I removed the URL I download blog from the list of allowed uh, websites. So that is Safari Power Saver. Supposedly it will save you up to 35% uh, CPU power, which will obviously go a long way to saving battery life as well. Now what about legit content that you don't want to pause? Well, actually that works just as you would expect. It doesn't pause like YouTube videos and stuff like that. It knows whether the content is front and center or whether it's something over on the margins that doesn't need to be played automatically. And as you see here, this is starting to play right off the bat, no Safari Power Saver uh, to speak of there. So let me know what you guys think about this new advanced feature in OS X Mavericks for Safari. It is called Safari Power Saver. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.